1925, Lyons made a promise to Helen Keller to be Knights of the Blind by addressing preventable blindness and hearing loss. 34 years later, Lyons here in Oregon made a commitment to deepen that promise. The Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation, 60 years of keeping the promise. You know you make me wanna shout, kick my heels up and shout. The year was 1959. Mark Hatfield was governor of Oregon. The Beavers beat the Ducks 15 to seven in the Civil War. And a gallon of gasoline cost 28 cents. When the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation was founded in 1959, its first program, Patient Care, provided critical vision surgery and treatment for Oregonians in need. Today, patient care continues to restore sight and hearing for those in need. We do so through cutting-edge medical treatment provided by the best in their field. Crosslinking has been a, a wonderful development in the field of cornea, and it's actually been done worldwide for almost 20 years. The corneal crosslinking procedure can actually be done in the office. It's the only way to prevent keratoconus from progressing, and that can keep people functional in glasses or contacts, prevent an expensive, risky corneal transplant, and keep them functional so that they can continue to work and not be a burden on their families and have a full, enriching life. The 1960s saw Lions from throughout Oregon begin to embrace their new foundation, enthusiastically participating in a variety of fundraising efforts to support the effort to bring the gift of sight to those that otherwise would go blind. Lions in multiple District 36 took pride in their fundraising and many competed to outdo each other. Proudly announcing their gifts to OLSHF during the annual parade of checks during Lions conventions. At the time, Lions Club fundraising accounted for nearly 100% of the foundation's operating budget. The foundation's operations grew significantly in the 1970s with landmark events such as the formation of the Lions Eye Bank of Oregon. Lions far and wide committed themselves to delivering donated corneal tissue to the new Eye Bank so that these organs could be used for sight-saving transplants around the world. Today, Lion's Vision Gift has grown into its own 501c3 and is regarded as one of the leading eye banks in the industry. In order to meet the needs of those with hearing problems as well as those with vision difficulties, it was decided to include addressing hearing as a part of the Foundation's mission. At the Mid-Year Convention in 1978, Lion's approved the official name change to the Oregon Lion's Sight and Hearing Foundation. Now, our ROAR Hearing Assistance Program helps over 200 people a year with hearing exams and access to brand new digital hearing aids due to our partnerships with hearing providers throughout the state. Also in the late 1970s, we had the opportunity to help Angie Dillard, who was born with retinoblastoma, a cancerous condition of the eye which often leads to blindness. After 25 surgeries, a prosthetic, and multiple new pairs of glasses from her new Lions friends, Angie became the Foundation's poster child and today has healthy vision in her right eye. The 1980s was a decade of expansion for the Foundation as every Lions Club in multiple District 36 contributed to the fundraising campaign for the Devers Memorial Eye Clinic. In return for the amazing Lions fundraising, Good Samaritan Hospital agreed to provide free occupancy to OLSHF and to do so in perpetuity. To this day, the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation enjoys a robust partnership with Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital and is able to share with donors that none of their support is needed to address the organization's occupancy. When Gresham breakfast lion Art Abbott returned from a Lions convention in Omaha, Nebraska, he brought with him the idea for a mobile Lions health screening vehicle that would bring health care to underserved Oregonians. In 1994, the organization's mobile health screening program was born. Over the years, the program grew and more and more schools were in need of help with vision screening. In 2011, the foundation created our 2020 vision, of one day, every child in Oregon having been screened for vision health services. As we're screening in the schools, every single staff member is extremely supportive and thankful of what we're doing. As a retired teacher, it's incredibly important that all kids be able to see everything going on in the classroom. When you have a child who isn't able to read what's on that whiteboard, used to be chalkboards, now we have whiteboards, 
they're not able to participate in everything. And if they're out on the recess field and they don't have distance vision to be able to kick a ball, to participate in sports, we need to help those kids. Today, the program has grown even more and has added sophisticated screening technology. In fact, our school vision screening program is now regarded as one of the premier school-based vision screening programs in the U.S. To help more students receive follow-up exams after a vision screening, the Foundation began partnering with the KEX Kids Fund in 1998. Through this important partnership and with the help of a network of participating optometrists, over 800 students receive eye exams and new eyeglasses each year. When the Oregon Health Plan dropped coverage for adults to receive eye exams and eyeglasses in 2011, the Foundation responded by passing legislation to use donated used eyeglasses to help people in need. When this didn't turn out to be the solution envisioned, we set our sights instead on making eyeglasses ourselves for Oregonians in need. The result was the first charitable optical finishing lab in the world. Today, our Leap Optical Lab manufactures over 2,400 pair of new eyeglasses a year, saving Lions Clubs over hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. Our Lions Eyeglass Assistance Program has our own optical finishing lab in which we help produce high quality, low cost eyewear to Oregonians in need, everyone from children up to adults all over the state. And we are able to create a pair of eyeglasses for our Lions Clubs for $30 for single vision, $40 for aligned bifocal, and $50 for aligned trifocal. And we figure that since we've started, we've saved Lions Clubs over $200,000. Not only does the foundation help thousands of people each year with new eyeglasses here in Oregon, we partner with Lions Club members and the Coffee Creek Correctional Facility for Women to repurpose donated used eyeglasses to help people in developing countries around the world. Over the years, these important sight and hearing programs have a dramatic impact on those they serve. In the quest to screen, treat, save, and restore sight and hearing for those in need, the foundation hit the milestone of one million people served in the fall of 2017. We don't see the way that vision impacts the children because they cannot tell us what they're experiencing. They have no words to tell us how their vision is changing their world. Their body just kind of, their mind just kind of adapts to it. If Lions hadn't been there to help detect this, I would be much further in the disease process with Ethan. So. I, I can't be more thankful that they were there doing vision screening. I helped uh, work with the Lions to help uh, make this vision screening uh, really efficacious and uh, beneficial. And uh, we screened over 10,000 patients here uh, in Portland and uh, hundreds of thousands of people uh, in Oregon and worldwide. That collaboration I think is really awesome because it combines Lion's expertise of getting out and outreach with our expertise of combining this outreach with research and then clinical care. With the guidance of a board that has strategic long-term vision, dedicated staff members that over the years have demonstrated a commitment to our mission, and with these amazing relationships that we have with sight and hearing providers throughout the state of Oregon, we truly have been able to keep that promise that Lions made to Helen Keller so many years ago. Our board of directors and everyone who's involved wants this organization to thrive and to grow and to be the best they can be. So why wouldn't they go another 60 years? The Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation, dedicated to keeping the promise for 60 years and beyond.